Right guys, just a little video to help you with your worksheet. No need to worry. And this will help give you some more practice for the people who've asked for it. So, it says find the y-intercept and gradient of these lines. The y-intercept here is when it crosses the y-axis. So that y-intercept is zero. So C equals zero, zero here, the y-intercept. Now the gradient of the line, let's try, we need these lines to cross the corners of these squares perfectly. And you can see that's one and two. So the gradient, which we call M, equals one over two, but it is negative because it's going downhill from left to right. So let's see, where does this cross the y-axis? This is the y-axis, because it crosses, that's the y-coordinate. So C here equals minus four. Now it's going uphill, we've got to find a line where it crosses the corners of those squares perfectly, so we can see that here, that's one. And where we have to probably go quite far down here, Oh, and it actually crosses right here, so that's perfect. So that's one, two, three down. And you can see that's one, two, three, four across. So M here, the gradient, is three over four. Now, the y-intercept is here. So C equals three. And we should just use this line because we know it crosses perfectly and it does cross the square perfect. Now this, the only hard part about the gradient is finding that there. And you can see it's one, two, three, four, and one. So four divided by one equals four. So the gradient, which we call M equals four. And that is perfect if you can do that. Now, I'm going to change colour and I'm going to show you something here. You cannot, I know it crosses here, perfect, but can you see why we can't just do the triangle like this? Because we don't know for sure how far that length is. I know that's three, but having three divided by question mark or a guess will, will probably give us the wrong answer. I hope that helps you understand it a bit more. Right, now, this you should be very good at, but a bit more practice helps. So y equals mx plus c, this is what the equation of the line is. So m, the letter next to the x, is the gradient. So here, m equals 6. The y-intercept is just the number on its own. So c equals 2 here, and it's a plus 2 next to it, so it's plus 2. Can we see m here? is minus 3 and then C here is 10 over 3. Now M here is 10 over 7 and then C here the y intercept is 10. So let's just do another question for you here E. So if it was something like y equals minus 5x minus 6, m equals minus 5, and c will be equals to minus 6, there's a minus sign. And what's throwing you off in quizzes is when you have a question like this, f, and you've got y equals, no, y minus 2x equals 3, let's say, and then you're all saying, and I can understand why, oh, m equals minus 2 because the left the number next to the x is minus 2 but that is wrong because it's not in this form y equals mx plus c y has to be on its own so to do that we just have to plus 2x to both sides so then y becomes e y equals 3 plus 2x now we can see the number next to the x is 2 so m equals 2 and c equals 3 i think you know how to do that now. So the number on its own, C here, is equals 9 over 8. And M is what's next to the X, the gradient, and that equals 7 over 5. 
Right, remember, we've got to use this formula for this point, the gradient. So that's, this is the second y coordinate, that's the first y coordinate. That's the second x coordinate and the first x coordinate. So y2 is 0, minus y1, so that's minus 50, all divided by 2 minus 12 equals, we have to get good out of negative numbers, so that's minus 50 minus 2 minus 12, and use a number line if it helps, becomes minus 10. Now what does a negative divided by a negative equal? It is a positive, so that becomes 5 simplified, so m equals 5 here. Let's do b over here. So y2, y1. Sometimes writing this down helps so you write it down correctly. So let's do minus 12, minus 12. Now these are harder examples, but I left them here because negative numbers is what the top set students struggle and make silly mistakes with, with this. So x2 is minus 8, and then it's minus, minus 12. So, first step is, I know there's two negatives here, it doesn't become a positive because they're not next to each other. So that becomes minus 24. Now these are next to each other, that's when you have to plus. So that equals 24 over 4. And the negative divided by positive is negative, and that will become minus 6 equals the gradient here, which is we call M. And the last one, I'm just going to do the answer, that's 60 minus 24 divided by 7 minus 4 equals 36 divided by 3, which equals 12, and we call that M. And that covers everything from about grade 3 to 5 minus almost, because the negative numbers is 5 minus practically, I would say. Right, really well done if you understand that, guys. Good job. Right, guys, this is just a bit more explanation for those who asked for it, just so you can understand why this formula works. And I'm going to go through each question in turn. We did these earlier. So let's just try this coordinate here. And let's use that one there. So can you see that coordinate is minus 2, 1, and this coordinate is minus 4, 2. Now we can see when we've got the graph, that gradient is 1 over 2. It's negative because it's going downhill. So m equals minus 1 over 2. Now, the more difficult questions just give you the coordinates. So, can you see the change in y is 1 because that's why we do look at this, this is the y2 and y1 because if you do the difference between 2 take away 1 you know then that height must be 1 what's good about this formula is that actually it gives you the negative numbers because if you do 1 which is y2 minus 2 and let's just do the x2 as well so we've got minus 2 minus minus 4 that changes to a plus. Right. Can you see, because the difference between minus 4 and minus 2 is only 2. So that's why that becomes 2. You get the nice minus 1 here. And then you get m equals minus 1 over 2. Let's try this one. So let's use this by coordinates. So that coordinate is 0, 3. And this coordinate is 1, minus 1. So let's call this y2, x2, y1, x1. 
so you just see it working so let's do y2 so we've got minus 1 minus 3 divided by x2 which is 1 minus 0 now can you see because we've got that negative number there can you see that makes actually a length of 4 because you're going from 3 to 0 and you're adding that minus 1 on but it's not adding minus 1 you're adding 1 because that's a length of 1 right and then you've got that length which is 3 and that length is 1 so that becomes minus 4 because it's going downhill can you see it the formula gives you it the negative number as well now you've got 1 minus 0 because you can see the second x coordinate to the first coordinate that is exact distance of 1 and that's why that becomes 1 so m equals minus 4 and I hope that really makes a lot more sense to you now um, I can always do more explanations but people have just said that sometimes I do too many and 